So this is an idea that uh, we derived from just reading a trade publication and we did a little more research on it, found a lieutenant down in Birmingham, Alabama that had kind of tailored a 50 inch dollhouse made out of uh, Oriana's Dram Board or OSB and basically made it into the shape of a common lightweight construction house that you see pop up around most of our response areas. So the intent today is to show the students uh, how fire grows in these lightweight construction uh, structures as well as the fire and smoke behavior that then ensues. So it's a small scale version of a modern day home and that instructor Lou Rader has been kind enough to reconstruct. So that is our intent with this whole training. These are what the floor joists are made out of, okay? It's all about cheap, light, quick, and easy. It's not about you crawling around on top of it when the building's on fire. Everybody understand? Yes, yes sir. sir. Now, these don't collapse right away, but it doesn't take long if there's a good fire rolling underneath of it, okay? You all understand what OSB is with the adhesive and everything? Mm -hmm. okay. sure. sure. Big deal. Um, the plywood's actual long layers of sheets uh, glued together. This here is just wood chips all glued together and compressed, but the plywood wood is just bigger layers. Right. At the middle town, you walk into the house, right? You go in, and it's like a staircase that goes in, and there's like a little uh, balcony, you know what I'm talking about? Yep. So the two-story foyer, this is going to simulate that, or a wide open staircase going up to the second floor. What's typically in the second floor? Bedroom. The bedrooms. <laughs> what is something we talked about the other day? DEIS, right? So this is going to simulate a bedroom with the door open. This is All right. So we just do it. Just do it. I'm in. Got anything else? <laughs> Not Are really. Are you all in? We'll get it? into the, uh, we've also got the fire technically going to travel from this room to this room, up to this room, into the attic, and through the roof. What Lieutenant Webb's going to do hopefully, and I'm, I'm confident he will, is we're gonna, we're gonna simulate opening and closing doors like you would if your windows. If you came up on the scene and took out this window, what's gonna happen, okay? And also, if we close doors down once the fire's really made a lot of progress. So you can see if we cut off the air supply and the flow and the, and the fire dynamics, what's gonna happen to the fire? And you guys, when you get on the scene, you've gotta look at your building and see what's going on as far as is smoke puffing out around the eaves? Is it, is it, if we go to open the doors, it's sucked back in, stuff like that. Everybody clear? Yes, sir. You gotta be able to read the smoke. It's really, really important that you learn how to do that. And hopefully we're gonna be able to put on a pretty good show here to show you that today. Build Rocking, up in there, very quick, see how quickly it built yeah. up in that? So now what do we have? Bedroom. Overventilated fire. Oh, God. Structure fire. What's happening down here? Whoa. <laughs> Hello, Look at the smoke. color of the smoke. Thick? Structural. Wow. Is that Look turbulent that. or what? See the way it's coming out of the eaves? Oh, yeah. And that's on both sides too. It's in the Delta side too. Or the uh, Charlie side, I'm sorry. The thick? Oh, yeah. What's the velocity of it? High speed. High speed. A lot of unburned fuel there. Whoa. Whoa. What did it need? Right amount of air. Get that mixture right.